got to get some seaweed here. Got some seaweed right here. This is what we're using right here for bait. I'm going to try to catch a Ninu or a Kala. Got a little rough water. Normally it's better when it's rough. Uh, it's low tide, but well. So if they're out there and they're feeding, we'll catch them. Okay, they just, they just got to be around. They just got to be tight, all timing. I don't know when they're here around, low tide, high tide, but it's going to be lucky. Let's see, they're feeding. All right, we're using a Fenwick HMX 9-foot rod. Fitted a uh, CI-3000, CI-4-3000. This is uh, equivalent to a 30-pound test Power Pro here. Monofilament is, uh, we're running a 10-pound test today. And uh, about 3-foot liter, half-ounce half weight. And this is how it is. You've got the two hooks in tandem there. Uh, and this is spider wire right here, about eight inches of spider wire, two hooks in tandem, I'm just right on the tip. And we'll throw it in there and uh, see what we got laying loose. Might be lucky. Might be lucky, we got one laying loose inside here. Uh, we want something big, that's it, gotta be around. I'm going to try three casts, uh, if it doesn't bite, then we'll move, we're trying to find it, so we're trying to find where they're at. Okay, if it snags, then we just normally leave it alone, might be able to come out, there we go, it came out there, no, no, it snagged again, sometimes the waves will pull it out, there we go. Slack. There we go. Bait, bait's already gone. Normally, if the bait's already gone, it means we already hit. Off here. We, got, we, got, we got two hooks and we got one bait. We need to have two baits. So it came off. I mean, it bites, it's just going to pull drag because it's already hit the hook. It's already swallowed the hook or the hook's already got caught. Normally, you just stick and run. You don't have to do anything. Um, and you'll know when it bites, that's for sure. So we got them on the bottom as far as I know here. I'm going to try to retrieve it as the waves come in. You can feel when it comes off, it came off and then it got hung up. So, I'm trying to see if we can unravel it. But sometimes we can, sometimes not. So that's, the, that's the thing about this system without a floater. I don't use a floater because the floater gets stuck in the, you get stuck in the waves uh, or in the rock. So, it's trying to go straight line. It's 
going to unravel here. Sometimes it can, sometimes not. Sometimes not. Let's see what we got. Maybe it has unraveled. And if it is, then we're good. So we already hit twice full with a hook tight. Lost four hooks there. So we'll try another set. Try to make these in, in uh, about five or six liters. Like I said, I guess I haven't lost all six at one time, but if you do, then well, well. And uh, I don't have no uh, equipment to, to redo the ties. It's, sorry. it's, it's, a, it's a one time thing, and that's it. So. so we'll try one more throw in here, and we're going to move down and that's about 100 yards. So still got some daylight left. You know, it normally feeds. I'm out of time, but mostly it's around 2 o'clock. Let me see what we got here. I'll be able to get some gum kind here. Some good bait here. Got some here. Looks like I got some pretty good bait right here. I can hook up here. Basically, it's all locked. That's it. The, 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 the fish can bite any, any, any portion of the bait. Actually, but normally it's hitting. Normally it bites the twig. The, 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 Bites the stem. We're gonna see here. Let's see what we got. This with a longer rod, you can throw a little further. I don't know how far, but I'd say maybe about five feet more. So, let's see what we got here. Try to retrieve slowly here. Right off the bottom. Might have one. We just want to catch one five pounder, maybe. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes, we got one. Yeah. I don't know how big this one is, but we got a screamer. Okay, we got some action here. Okay, it's pulling drag out. It's going. Aha. It's along the, the hook. Don't break. You don't come off. We'll be okay. So we do this crank down. If the wave come up, we pull up slowly and bring him with the wave. If he comes in, we bring him in. If not, we let him go. It's already shoreline already. Got a pretty small one actually. Still going in a wave here. Let him go in there. Let him go in there. Let him get tired. <laughs> Let him get tired. Stop. 